Cool. So I ordered this digital multimeter from AliExpress. It's the Zoe ZT102L. So here it is on the left. Also, previously, I've had the ZT111 for a while, uh, for a couple of months now. It's a really small and compact uh, multimeter. So one of the main differences between the two is this one does inductance. So we've got L for inductance or Henry's. So let's check out the DMM check plus. There we go. So what are we measuring? Got 1.12 uh, millihenries. So let's check that against the Zoe MD1. So here's the MD1 tweezers. So got 1.08. So yeah, pretty close. These ones go down to micro henries, um, but the yeah, this doesn't quite go down to micro henries. So if we look at the the manual. So we've got resistance, capacitance, frequency, inductance. We've got six millihenries, 60, 600, <laughs> six henries, 60 henries. So yeah, it works okay at the millihenry range, so I can test that bit. It's about one, so that's ish. <laughs> Let's check out the uh, yeah resistance. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison between these two multimeters, and we'll use the DMM check plus. So let's check out 1000K. So 99.9, .9, that's pretty good. And got on the right, about 100, yeah, 100, 99.9. .9. I've noticed that the ZT111 takes a little bit longer. So it's a 9999 <laughs> count. This one's a 6000 count. The, um, the ZT111 takes a little bit longer to get that reading. So 9.99 kilo ohms. Ten point zero zero nine point nine nine. So it's taking a little bit longer with the ZT111. Check out 1K. 1.003. Point zero zero two. One point zero zero two. One point zero zero. Okay, <laughs> it's going down a little bit. And then one hundred. Here we go. So I got one hundred point six, and got one hundred point two. Cool. Let's check out the capacitance. Okay. So we've got point nine six. Point nine seven. Ten point zero zero, so ten point zero three nanofarads. Ten point one two. Ninety nine point eight. One hundred point five. And we've got 1.03, 1.04. Okay, let's check out voltage. So we should have about, should have left this on earlier. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what's this one? Uh, we've got AC, let's switch it to DC. Oh, okay. 4.99, I'm expecting 5.000, uh, so it's a little bit low, but that's okay, <laughs> 6,000 count. And this one, whoops, 
Let's get the polarity right. 5.000. Okay. So yeah, there's a quick look at the Zoe ZT111 and the 102L. They're quite compact. You've got a basic backlight here. Pretty much the same size. The interfaces are slightly different. So you've got the near contact here, different positions. Uh, you've got micro amps here. This only goes down to milliamps. So you can switch across. Uh, yeah, milliamps. You've got micro amps. And then but the difference here, you've got the inductance. So you've got, you can measure Henry's here. So yeah, very similar. Uh, accuracy is slightly different. I think they're using the same machines to calibrate everything though in the Zoe factory. So yeah, they take two AAA batteries. You can get these on AliExpress, Amazon, they're known as Zotec in the US, but they're Zoe in China and everywhere else in the world. So it's a Zoe Zotec ZT102L and the ZT111. I bought both of these myself. I just, yeah, like these little multimeters for traveling. Cool. Thanks for watching.